This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me, as always, halfway across the world, is Jared Morgan. Hey there, Chris. How's it going there? Uh, it's going good. Um, yes, folks, I'm wearing a jacket because I'm a wuss here in California, and, you know, 62 <laughs> degrees to me is cold. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, I'm not wearing a jacket, but I am recovering from the after effects of the spicy flu. Um, so I've got, I had the Rona. Uh, this how, was, how was that the uh, second time around? That uh, was actually, the first three days weren't great, I, I'll have to say. Like they, I, it actually hit me relatively harder than I thought. Um, and, you know, folks, I'm fully vaccinated. In fact, I was just about to get the, the next round of vaccination that they um, released here in Australia. Mm-hmm. Um and uh I, yeah the, the rona beat me to it so um but yeah it was it was strange the second time around it was it was a little bit rougher uh, yeah. i mean i still got like the cough hanging around and stuff like that so yeah mm. i uh i thankfully have only had the uh had it the one time so and well I've let's had, hope it remains that way and i've had the three doses or am i my fourth i don't know i've lost track it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the in the business you're in, it's surprising you haven't had it more, right? Right. With the amount of public contact that you have. Oh, the number of times I've gotten an email stating that I've been around somebody that has it, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm, lots. If you had a dollar for every time you got one of those emails, you'd be a rich man. Uh, no, I'd just probably have like $52. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> pretty, I, I pretty much get one about once a week. <clears throat> um, once a week. And and the funny oh, thing yeah. is, is that I'll get it on. Sometimes I'll get it where I've literally only been around four people the entire week because I'll be mm-hmm. like doing new hire training, and yeah. I'm like, who was I in close enough contact that they had to send me a notice? But then I realize mm. it's not close contact. It's just somebody in the working vicinity of you. Well, because I right. work literally the entire park. <laughs> <laughs> That's a large working area, right? Yeah, yeah. So we, we get those notices all the time. Um, all the time. I know people that have gotten it twice in the same day before. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. Like okay. like they got it in the morning, like two hours after their shift started, and by the end of their shift, they got it a second time. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. you know. Well, there you go. There yeah, so go. I don't know. I'm at the tail end of it now. Um, I've got the cough, so you'll probably hear me like coughing and spluttering a little bit in this episode, but you know, you'll be right. All right, we'll put up with it then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, folks, as you uh, I'm sure are well aware, it's official. Pinball FX is now uh, out there in the wild, no longer in early release mode. It is available on consoles um, and, uh, of course, still on the uh, Epic Game Store. And they Zen has made some you know adjustments uh, just between what I saw last week and what's present there <laughs> this week. Yeah, there's there's some stuff that's different. That's for sure, right? Um, mostly to support the multi platforms, it seems. Yeah, um, that's the biggest thing I've noticed, which is really cool, actually. Um, so let's let's talk about that a bit. What are the uh, differences to that you've seen? Well. Um, um. First off, those tickets got replaced by coins. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. They've got like a little coin with a with a like a what you call it a lightning bolt through it now. Yeah. Like um. Currently, those coins are available to either purchase the pinball pass or to mm. purchase little uh, tchotchke items that will uh, decorate your room. Uh, we still don't know if there's um, any other kind of refund system going into place uh, because those coins, as of yet, I don't think are available in console because nobody's been able to do the um, the founders form switch to the best right, of my knowledge. Right. Okay. Yep. Uh, and, and when we say the Founders Forum uh, Switch, that was uh, anybody that was playing in the... Uh, early Access. Yeah, the Early Access. If they chose to move to, say, uh, PlayStation or Xbox, uh, Zen is going to basically gift them all of their tables over. Yeah. And then they said that they would also do something with those uh, tickets um, to with make things right balance. on that way. And I... yeah. 
I can't believe that Zen would just be like, oh, well, we'll just let you purchase Pinball Pass because to people that have already bought all the tables and had extra because they want to buy more tables, I think that's going to tick them off royally. <laughs> I don't think. I, I'm, I do remember Mel saying, quote, unquote, we'll, we'll make it right. Yeah. So that would not be making it right for many people. Yeah. So, so um, we'll, we'll, I, we still obviously have to see what making it right is in those uh, terms. Mm -hmm. um, other, other little changes that I think I've noticed, uh, well, there's a new tutorial that you can go through. Yeah, I, I dutifully went through it. I quit about <laughs> halfway through. What it was like. <laughs> no, I was I like, went, why am I oh. doing this? I just wanted to look <clears> at Adam's family. <laughs> Yes, and I was the same, and I got no because you get like, you know, zero day unlocks and stuff like that. And the neat thing is that if you get far enough through it, you actually get a free pinball pass for a day, oh, which okay. I thought was a really nice, um, really nice little uh, benefit from going through the thing, and a nice little hey, welcome to the platform. Let's try some tables and you know see which ones. You know, obviously let let you try the new tables and work out whether you want to buy them. Um, so smart move, I think. Uh, I noticed that the music in the background is uh, slightly fuller. <laughs> um, like they it's slightly fuller. <clears throat> There's also uh, a brand new piece of music that you okay, get. Okay, maybe that's you, what I'm uh, hearing. We get well. No, you get the uh, the the rest of the music is the same. Okay. But um, on the on the score results and okay. uh, screen, you get this brand new piece of you brand new light motif that plays. Okay. Um, Reminds me quite a lot of um, Tears for Fears. Everybody wants to rule the world, oh. except in reverse. Like the chord progression goes up and then down, then up again. Okay, it's, it's like I, I thought that's very eighties. That sounds like Tears for Fears. Awesome, and I like it. I actually really like it. I will let it play a little bit longer than I normally do. Yeah, it sounds really good. Um, beyond that, what else is? Uh, I haven't really gone through and uh, searched much because I, of course, went straight to the pinball tables. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I know. Um, because I, I really wanted to, uh, <clears throat> especially with the marble tables, I want to go through those, see um, what if there were any improvements, and thankfully there mm. are on a couple of the tables. Um, on a couple of the tables, And then yeah. I went and compared it with the FX3 version just to make sure that I wasn't uh, kidding myself. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I <clears throat> I did touch the the Marvel tables as well for the very reason I haven't played them for probably a year and a bit. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're actually quite new to me again. Okay, I'm yeah. Going, yeah these, these feel very new, but I I think that well, you were right in that they didn't do a lot of changes to them. Not a lot, but some of the changes are like, and I'll, I'll highlight it. You, you know, a little while ago we were playing Doctor Strange and lamenting how terrible it was. Um, mm. That the lighting effects now make it so you know where to shoot. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, that's true. It, it made the game playable. <clears throat> so I actually I had that experience as well. That oh, this is a this feels like a different game. Yeah, like it's noticeably better. But then you look at something like Iron Man, and it's like... Mm. Yeah, nothing really changed. Um, nothing really changed. It's still a red mess. Yeah. Other than the physics. And I'm very yeah. happy about the physics. <laughs> I'm still noticing a fair bit of dead rubber um, on everything other than the flippers. Um, yeah, but even that, just so long as there's some life. And beyond that, just comparing between the two uh, versions, FX3 and Pinball FX, mm -hmm. the ball actually feels like it's making contact with the table now. Um, I feel that mm. there's actual friction um, with how it's moving around rather than just... It's still moving fast, but strangely enough, I feel like I can sense the progression around the table rather than it just zing like a you know frictionless Flying around. piece of ice. Yeah. Mm. Um, the other thing I've noticed too is... Uh the ability to run the game on full high settings, like their high preset without really suffering from any performance issues. Yeah. They've done some uh, um, optimization there. It seems they, they definitely have. Like I, I was like, I've got a, an RTX 3080. So a pretty grunty card with a lot of Ram in it. And I was struggling to run the game in early access with high settings on um, reliably. And um, yeah, able to do it, quite convincingly now like with you know um uh ray tracing on and stuff like that so 
it's definitely been an important performance improvement for the port over to consoles for sure. The other thing I've noticed is, uh, like we were saying before, the differences in the leaderboards is now you actually see what platform you're playing on and you can filter your leaderboard chasing based on platform if you want. Oh, very nice. So you can only show PC um, scores or console scores. Um, I've got to say, though, <clears throat> there's some big scores being posted now that the uh, the game is A, out of early access and B, on two more platforms. Um like the the leaderboards are lit up now compared to what they were when it was in early access. <laughs> Don't know if you've noticed that, but it's no, I, I haven't. I'm I've never been much of a <clears throat> uh, a leaderboard chaser. I'd kind of just like gloss over and don't even pay much attention to that. But uh, maybe we'll take a look at that in the uh, game in a in a moment here. Um, hmm. Before we dive in, because how things run on my computer, I have to do things weird. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, uh, like I said, we're gonna because take a look at But of course, yeah. the biggest question that always was going to be with regards to this, is how did Zen fester this table? Fester. <laughs> how did Zen fester fester? Yes. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware of uh, what we mean by festering, this was a term that was coined back in the pinball arcade days when they did Adam's Family, and uh, they too were not able to secure the rights for Christopher Lloyd, and so they had to alter the way fester looked, and we just started calling it festering it, festering a table. Yeah. Because they started doing it to a bunch of tables. Um, to like World avoid Cup Soccer 94. Yep. Yeah. And so we just kept on referring to any kind of time that there was a change to the graphics as festering it. But, of course, yep. the OG festering comes from Adam's family. Adam's family, that's yes. right. Uh, so I went ahead and took... Uh, now, excuse the quality of these pictures because they're screen grabs or the photo that I got it from wasn't the best, and then I blew it up to hideous proportions and uh, <laughs> just to try and match. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, but I think it's interesting to look at um, in terms of the changes that have been made. So mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Let's take a look here. Wah! There we <coughs> go. Look at that. So on your far left, we have the uh, the OG Fester. This would be the Williams mm -hmm. Fester. Uh, right next to that, we have Zen's Fester. And then over to the far right, that is TPA's uh, Fester in Pinball Arcade. So the part that I think strikes all of us, does that look like Christopher what? Lloyd? <laughs> no. Why did they have to fester it to start with? It doesn't, it doesn't look anything like him. I don't see it. And when, I mean, when I saw the fester here in Pinball Arcade, I literally went, is that not the same? And then I had to look through the OG one and go, oh, okay, it's not. And then the same thing when I saw Zen's, I was like, what did they change? So that's why I wanted to bring up all three just so we can kind of look at the changes. A um, couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, this is not necessarily how Fat Fester's head looks in TPA. It's the table mm. angle. Um, yeah. It was even more severe the way the table angle was that I did the screenshot in, uh, in Zen's. And so I actually squeezed it <laughs> in a little to make it look normal. Yeah, it looks like normal. Fist has been eating too many light bulbs. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, he, so just starting off the top of the head, I like just changing the forehead squiggles. Yeah. Going from so le less wrinkles. Less so wrinkles giving, giving and different types of wrinkles. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, TPA did it with just a whole bunch of wrinkles in the middle. Here we just left two of the wrinkles and took out a third. And took out the curve of the middle wrinkles, so kind of interesting. Um, the eye shape is probably the biggest difference. Yeah, the eye shape's the definitely the biggest thing. Um, like, from almost looks like Rudy's eyes. I was gonna say Zen's is kind of a happier fester. Uh, yeah, the original is a little more angry. <laughs> A little more angry, and um, that one I don't even know what's going on there. Uh, it this is your uh, Southeast Asia fester. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> It looks a bit like that, eh? Doesn't it, though? It's and got the almond eyes and, uh, you know, um, noses. All three noses are different. Uh, this yeah, one, they are. TPA's has the boxer nose. Uh, Zen's has yeah. nostrils. And yeah. Williams does not. And no nostrils for Christopher Lloyd. Yes. Um, no. Did they change the ears? Yes, they changed the ears on all three of them. They did. Yeah, they actually did. They altered and, I mean, the look ears. At, and I have to say that TPA's is the worst <laughs> <laughs> so tp i don't even know what those well, are uh, yeah, um, it looks like it looks like as nosferatu ears <laughs> yeah the other thing i noticed too is their um their purple shadowing uh the way they've applied the shadowing if you see on zen's 
he's got way more shattering over the nose yeah. than it does on the original. Well, okay. Again, this might be the quality of the photo. Oh, no. Because, like, ah, uh, not really. Because it... I think you could see it pretty clearly where the shadows are on um, on the one on the I mean, this was left. somebody took a photo of the lower play field and then I zoomed into it. Um, mm. This, is, and it was broad daylight. This is Zen doing their nightish mode. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think they've, done, they've, they've taken some liberties. They're like this way, I mean, if you have a look at... Um, it follows the... the same contours. It does. As opposed to but TPAs, which added or took away some. A whole lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then if yeah. you look at the mouth, it's, it's interesting that both TPA and Zen chose to use an open mouth, whereas the Williams one, it's firmly where he's blowing on He's the really end. gripping it. Yeah, he's gripping that's it. Probably, that's probably quite a good indication of you know changing X amount. Because like open mouth versus closed mouth would be a big tick on the this is not the same yeah. image. Oh, it, look like, at the crow's box? feet too. Three oh, yeah, that's vertical right. lines or, or horizontal lines versus two vertical lines versus um eyelashes. I don't know. Out the side of the <laughs> eyelashes, side eyes, side eyelashes. Yeah, it's like this is this is the young fester TPAs. And yeah, it's like a progression of age. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So that's young. The middle one is uh, prime um, uh, faster, and then is... we have old faster. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I need to get a light bulb and see if I can imitate any of these. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe for <laughs> maybe for Halloween, I'll uh, go full eyeliner on for you guys. Nah. I don't oh yeah, I right. Um, <laughs> no. No. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, to show those things off because I find it uh, rather. Interesting for those. Changes. We always talk about it. Mm -hmm. We always talk about the festering. Mm -hmm. So and and it's one of those things where too. again, if I literally had to bring up these images, because off the top of my head when I looked at it, I went, "Yeah, that's fester." Mm. So it's like, what what have they changed? Yeah. yeah. Um, I did look at the back glass because apparently they had to change that fester also. It's mm. so tiny. Uh, there's a slight slight difference unfortunately when i blew up those images it just like became a pixeled mess so you'll have to right. um, you have to do that on your own folks and see that um and i can't i couldn't bring up the image on uh tpa i think tpa left it i don't think they changed theirs um because Probably seeing not. the back glass in there is really difficult um to yeah. do. you have to have pro mode you have to be able to move the camera um oh yeah it's a real trip and and on mine, I couldn't angle the camera up high enough to see it. So mm. that you know, there you go. Yeah. All right. There you go. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to uh, maneuver my screen here so I can actually bring up the game and we can take a look at things. Yeah, that's right. All right. So where do you think we're going to go first? in our little uh, exploration of the new pinball FX. Well, why don't we do, uh, since we're talking about TAF, let's do a quick look at TAF. Let's jump into TAF and have a look. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely the one that people have been waiting for the most, eh? I think. Yes. Yeah. Well, certainly all the early access folk yeah. um, have been waiting the most for it. Um, but I think the, the console folk are probably in the same boat. They're probably going, yeah, well, yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a zero day purchase for me. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. I had a. There were people on Reddit and in Discord going, How come none of my FX3 tables transfer over? And I'm like, Yeah, I know. Seriously? I was surprised to read that too. It's like, It's been a year. This has been well broadcast. Why are we still having this Discord about it? <laughs> like, like, go away, person. You're, a, you're just. And somebody was like, Well, I just got the game. Well, then you didn't have it before. So, I don't know. This is weird. So sometimes Adam's family goes down here. Sometimes it like moves around on me. <laughs> oh, does it? Yeah. Huh. It's the strangest That's thing. That's really odd. It is. Anyway. <gasps> Love that they put you the think topper like the on. Tabled... Yeah. Oh, the... well, yeah, they have to have the topper. Um, what I mean, um... they don't have to. <laughs> well, it's part of the game. So they, uh, it's the, the factory default of the game. It's not an aftermarket mod. 
So they would. Yeah, but I, bar- I guarantee you, you can buy uh, an Adams Family without the topper. Oh <laughs> uh, well, you can. But yes. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a look at this without the um, enhancements on. Uh, nice and dark. I do love some dark. Nice and dark, well lit. Uh, oh, like the lighting really on here is faithful. great. And I just want to kind of point out things like, oh, look, there are shadows on that big red box up there, and there's a shadow yep. back here. That was something that was missing from TPAs. There was just no contrast. Um, you know what I love? It's like if you you'll you'll probably see this if you got the Williams camera on uh, when it goes into features, you'll see that even the plastics have their plastic part number on them. Like you could see the actual part number on the plastic. Okay, I, I don't have the it. Williams it's camera like... on, but uh, are you saying I need to put it on? No, it's, no, okay, not really. Don't worry about putting it on. But okay. it, I could tell you that when it zooms in on the on the box, there's a plastic with the spider on it. It's just clear, and it's got the the plastic ID on it. So it's like super, super detailed scans, and uh, I love that. Something that. that uh, <laughs> I think is rather obvious on this table. Uh, Zen, we've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Adjust your plunger springs. Yeah. Um, um, it's way too I've, tight. <clears throat> I've played at Adam's Family with that tension plunger on before, though. Like, it's... Okay. I've, I've experienced that and having... Like, there's a really... The, the one that I was talking about uh, at the in the last episode that was a bit clapped out, um, it has a really stiff plunger spring on it as well, and it does make it hard to plunge. But it just adds to the difficulty of the table, I guess. I guess, but I just... There are certain pins that I that Yonkun could potentially come. Um, specifically, mm. I'm going to say, if they ever get around to doing Twilight Zone... That has yeah, that's... a purposely weak spring. Yeah, and it does. It needs a weak spring. It needs a weak spring, and I'm worried that Zen's just going to go, oh, here we go, we're going to do our standard spring. Um, I've played stiff spring versions of um, Twilight Zone over the year, and honestly, the only way you can reliably plunge on them is to bump the plunger, not pull the plunger. Yeah. And you can't bump in, um, in uh, FX, so... Makes it really uh, difficult. This is another factor. If you'll notice, I've now hit thing flips three times. Thing has missed all three times. Um, yes. There's no carryover ROM state here, as and that is crucial to yep. thing flips to learn. being dialed in and calibrated. Yeah. So thing flips ain't gonna work, folks. Oh, not reliably, at least. So could, yeah, uh, yep. abandon all ye hope. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to try and set up an interview with Deep um, or some of the uh, design team, and then we can ask questions like that. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, something that I love about this table compared to TPAs, and I think we'll do an actual comparison video um, soon. Mm. Uh, this plays so much faster, and it's oh, not it's... floaty. It's, it's it's a mean table. Way better. I don't even need to compare the two. Like they're incomparable. Is this the music you're talking about? Yes. Oh. Let it play for a little bit. Think of a reverse. Oh. Everybody wants to rule the world, and you got it. Okay. And then it will actually switch halfway through. Okay. I love it, actually. Okay. I just love it. I can't hear it now because we're having problems with um, yes. getting it working. Because OBS, thanks you for updating. Well, <laughs> Not. two things updated. It's just annoying. Anyway. Uh, so yep. anyway, that was just the... Uh, I just want to show you... Oh, hold on. Maybe I should do one more look at Adams because I didn't show any. <gasps> yeah, with the visual extras, John. The visual extras. Yeah. My bad. Because they look, again, tasteful, tastefully done. Like, you'll see... <laughs> Well, except for this golf I've, club. I'm not happy about the golf club. I don't know what... Where, where is the golf thing in this game? Was it on the back of the class? It's in was the movie. It like, was it in the... Oh, dude, it's been that one since I watched the movie. <laughs> and, and that's when he, when you, when he says, hey, um, Here, have another ball. I've got plenty. That's straight from the movie. Oh, right. See, I haven't watched that movie probably ever since it was released. So do it's not know movie. the... Uh, yeah, I should watch it. It's better that the first one's definitely the best. Don't worry about any of the other Adam's Family movies. Well, I mean, Adam's Family Values has its uh, has its pluses, uh, mainly the Wednesday and Pugsley storyline. But mm. um, yeah, it's not as good. 
for sure. No. I really do like the, in both modes, um, like, regardless of whether you have visual extras on or off, it's just the the, the dead bounces you can do yeah. in this game. Like, you can trap nicely on the on the right eject when it comes out of the hole, and it will consistently just ride up the, the right slingshot and then down the uh, right return lane. Um, so it's a nice, safe trap. It's a good clean bounce from the chair, from the left flipper over to the right trap up as well, and shoot the um, thing multi ball scoop. So one, so probably what we need to cover off though is there are some like right issues. now. Right, the yeah, hand right should now. already what, been what out. What happens here? And it's yep. slow. Yep, the hand animation is way behind where it needs to be, which then causes this bug to happen. Ball lock for multi ball should not have triggered them. Um, there is a discrete level of time that the game is expecting the, the hand to withdraw back underneath the play field, drop the ball into the massive box that's underneath the play field so that the ball gets into the slot uh, and then gets launched up the top of the play field and is very, very long, very, very steep. Um, ramp up to the, um, the right kick out there. Um, it needs the orchestration to be perfectly timed and Zen with its visual extras or whatever. Yeah, has, but it happens again, even without the visual extras. That's, yeah, it does. So but that might they, be, oops, I forgot which one. Um, but that yeah. might be a factor of, uh, we've noticed before, sometimes the visual extras are basically always present. Yeah, so I think maybe the logic, that, like the, the way that the uh, timing works, is probably interfering here. Like this, this is a really good jam. Same with Indiana Jones and the drop targets, which I load when visual extras are on, not behaving instantly. They they need to fix this problem because you should not be getting dirty pool announcements every single time you lock a ball in the, the, the vault. Or that thing takes the ball and runs it past the same area with all the switches in it. Hold on, before so that's away, bug number one. Uh, bug number two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Love these candles. Yeah. They're How good there. do they look? Um, those just look a subtle awesome. touch, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just a really nice touch. Um, love that they redid the thing box. Um, that's nice. Yep. Proper bookcase. That's nice. Um, yeah. I really like the bookcase. Um, um, yeah. No, I, I like the, oh, and then the, there's the sparkly uh, effects. Kind of, uh, right there. Yeah. I like the lightning effects as well whenever you see magnets. So mm -hmm. anywhere there's a magnet in the game, if you have these little sparkly effects around it to indicate that it's magnetic. Yeah. Um, there's another thing, folks, whenever it does at the end. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I I always go click-click on the uh, flippers. Um, yeah. Sometimes it'll do it on its own, but again, that's a ROM state thing for how often it yeah. does it, and I've yet to have it actually do it in the game for me. It has never done it for me yet in the game. So, um, so there's some other things that need to be pointed out here, which hopefully will be addressed. Um, I don't know if you noticed it, but um, when you were shooting to the, the little metal thing um, entry point, so that left little mini ramp, um, it ta it seems to there seems to be some extra friction or something up in the metal, and it mm -hmm. takes ages to like it sort of goes I'll, with my hand. It's like it goes. Ooh, and then starts to speed up as it goes out. It shouldn't. It should hit it and go straight down. Like, it's quite loose in there. Okay. So there's some physics-related bug in there. Because, like, you shoot the um, the shot, and sometimes it needs to actually hit the switch so you can qualify for um, the multi-ball. And in some cases, I've, I've been down to the wire. I've shot the metal um, scoop. And I've missed the multi-ball because I just haven't quite got there in time because of the delay in that middle area. And that's really frustrating. So that needs to be fixed. Uh, um, hey, look, folks. Marble pinball. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> um, here's what I, I... I'm not going to lie. I am kind of stoked by the selection because I wanted Wolverine. I love me some Moon Knight. I like Blade. Um, so, and... Yes, folks, Doctor I Strange. actually do like Iron Man. <laughs> I don't join you in that, unfortunately. I know. Uh... Um, so I, I kind of dig the selection that uh, is here because it's not 
all the Avengers mm. stuff. This is like the original uh, stuff that Marvel, I mean, that uh, Zen did. Um, so except out of for Captain selection. America. Captain America is the only one that's a newbie, a newer table, I guess. Yeah. Um, you can definitely tell that all these ones are old in style. Like you play things like Blade and you go, oh, it's that music. Listen to that yeah. music. Yeah. You know, um, there's a lot of old school ones in here. Doctor Strange. I want to highlight Doctor Strange, a table that we ragged on before, saying oh, it was yeah. a muddy, ugly mess. And just to show you Great evil that Zen master. actually made the Sorcerer Supreme is needed. Yeah. So when we it. played it last, we were complaining that it was very hard to tell where it wanted your shots to go. Yeah. And if I can actually start a mode here, you'll notice that they have tweaked the lighting and made it. Oh, that was right. Where are the defenders <laughs> when I need them? They've made it so that you can actually now uh, visually see uh, what's going on. Supposed to be going. So, as a refresher for those watching at home, there's three mode holes in this oh, game. Say. Um, they're all represented by those two, those groups of two um, drop targets with the there's actually four, you know. lights on. There's four. Yeah, underneath the uh, the green guy, I forget what his name is. There's a yellow target. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, there ones under there too. Yep. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually got one in there. But um, yeah, so that's how you start your mode. So you hit them, they drop down, you shoot them in. Um, and it's that's basically the mode. That's how you start. Them. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can start this. Good. So off we go, and here we go. Like that. The dream dimension. But this, like, you can already Nightmare. see the, the graphical part in that. that like, that's way and better than what it was. Yeah. So look at the uh, the ramp. See that blue lighting? That didn't exist before. <laughs> Your yeah. Smack pure so it's like real. Oh, and then I Your lose it immediately. <laughs> but real quickly, I can tell what ramp I'm supposed be. to be shooting at, um, yeah. as opposed to before, where I couldn't. <clears throat> it's funny. I thought. I thought they did have that. Though the no, they had played. something, but it was so dim. It was oh, so they it just visually the... was hard to hard to see. Because I do remember the the runes cycling on the ramp, but it was you're right. It was not nearly as as um, conspicuous as that. Like you cannot miss the ramp that you need to shoot now. It's really really obvious. And yeah. Like, just oh. like, you know, you see Doctor Strange, the the thing flying around Doctor Strange at the moment. Like, that's, that's way better than what it was in the original. Let's see if we can do another one here. Show this. Here we go. Nice shot. Um, speaking hey. of shots, uh, again, physics on here, they have been tweaked. Uh, the rubber mm. off the slivers is much more bouncy. The ball Someone is a little more lively. Inhabit my physical yeah, form. Sure. Hey, look at that. Look at all those. Game. Bounces. Look at all the ramps. Just shoot everything first. Yep. <laughs> shoot everything. The, the one thing I would say is that, <clears throat> as you saw there, that effect that's happening on the uh, upper left of the playfield there between the two adversaries, it kind of obscures everything. Every, all the shots are supposed to be taken. Uh, get obscured by the visual effects, which, again, isn't really something to change. It was the way this table was designed, but uh, the way that they place um, the visual enhancements now on the, the new Zen original tables, it's always off to the side or out of the view of the playfield and not obstructing everything. Because you have a look at Doctor Strange at the moment. He's yeah, right over the flipper. The, the you can't flipper. see anything. <laughs> yep. Well, no, no okay. shot on the flip at all. Let's try something though. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get to a place where I can actually control the ball. Overrated. So you, you can see, sort of. Multiplier increased. So I'm playing in view two, which is what my usual view is. Okay. Mm. So let's go to not view three. I'm going to go to manual view. Now you can kind of see the flipper. To, like, Arthona has stolen the book of Ishanti. I must retrieve it, lest his tyranny extends from his home world to our own. I really don't like playing in this view. It's a little too flat and weird. Uh, it is. Um, the 
think I don't. I'm not Kick really. Back. There's view Super one. Jazz. View one, I can't. I can't. That's it's too low flat. to the table. It's really flat. Eden, the eye of Agamotto lights your path to Athona. And then that... I think the uh, the floating room things look much better now. You can actually, yes, it looks like they're actually floating off the table when they didn't really look like that before. So, that's why I like to play in U2. It's just your spirit inspires a well, It's more natural. Now, like it's how you hurry. sort of would stand in front of a pinball table. Amazing. The problem with U2, uh, and it's not technically anything you can really fix, but. It just sometimes it feels a little bit too far out. Yes. Um, and because I think it's probably amplified by the fact of all the really Supreme. cool stuff sitting around the room here. Um, but it, sometimes it actually, yeah, it feels a little bit too far away. Usually like, I've the actually been doing the... something... Hurry up, end it. Uh, well, I was, was going to say, I've been trying something different um, when I've been playing FX um, this week. And I've actually been standing up close to the screen. If my screen's on a wall, I've mounted it. And not vertically, but I've in a horizontal um, orientation. Um, and I've been standing up and playing it. And it's Dream interesting because Nightmare. when you're closer to the I'll screen, the spells it, you can actually my sleep. see more detail. Uh, I don't know whether that's strange. like a revelation that I'm just getting out of it. With if you can sit closer to it, you can Your see more because the resolution is so good now nightmare. that Your things like inserts and stuff, you can physically walk over the screen and, and look at them and see the spells without having to zoom in or manipulate the camera or anything like that. So I found that to be interesting. Also, too, I found that I've been, even though I'm just holding a controller, I, I'm finding I'm getting way more physical when I'm standing up. Like, I'm, I'm moving around like I would in front of a, a, a pinball machine. Yeah. And sometimes I've been able to do saves with the controller because I've, you know, grinched the, I've grinched a move and it's sort of like thrown my body into the move and it's, it's Ooh, saved the ball. Right. Even though I haven't physically tilted the table, it seems to have had an effect on maybe engagement or stuff like that in the game. It's made me get better scores from standing the streets each night TV, which is really weird. It's surely a psychological thing, but it's a skill shot, by the way. I still haven't managed to get it. So here's a table that I really wish they had have done something with lighting on. Yeah, me too. I love this table. I love this table. It just needs contrast. It needs... it. The graphics are so busy that I feel yeah. that if it's it, a lot of if it had a lot been of gray dark and a little blue yeah but it's like if it just had been darker and let the lighting do its thing I think it would have yeah. highlighted better um, yeah you're right so turn the turn the room light off yes and just let the play field illumination let the eye some punch into the show you the way yeah it, it would have looked a lot better if they did this it's a shame that they can't go back and do these lighting touches. Maybe they will, I don't know. But I don't see if there's any reason why they couldn't do the lighting touches, but I don't know. Um, don't sleep on Moon Knight, people. Moon Knight is a wonderfully fun table. Oh, it's great. There's, like, there's so many different shots and uniqueness in this game. And there's a, a uh, bunch of different approaches to how to play the table. Yeah, which I'm sure I don't have the subtleties of, but um, yeah, it's, it's fun just to flip around well, not um, as well because like you know you've got that cross play field shot into the moon that appears and you've got um, like that one uh, that I missed hard to get the time really get really missed ready. Yet. Let's um, them up. but then you know you've got Bombs like here away. you go is a multi-ball mode that you can get pretty easy like, so you know, this mode right like here a minute, on a dark table <laughs> would look amazing because yeah. the ball oh, yeah with the ball lighting yeah absolutely I think they've definitely bumped up the, uh, the full lighting effect here. Yes. <clears throat> it looks much cleaner and much smoother than it does in FX3. In fact, across the board, um, <clears throat> the, the lights, the lighting looks amazing. Like, when I've been having a look at um, Wolverine, I've played that Bombs away. as well. It's got the mode the where the like ball box. turns into adamantium. And one of the balls lights up, and one of the balls stays regular. And the one that lights up is like, wow, okay, that's some serious lighting being thrown off this ball. 
right? It is like white hot glowing um, white. It looks amazing. The early bells so, need some repairs. Yeah, I, the, the lighting, yeah. it's probably just purely by the fact that they're using Unreal um, 4 now, has received a pretty much complimentary bump. But I think they need to just take a look at environmental lighting and it just default to dark for these tables because they they really will look good. There's enough lighting on the, on the play field that they could pull it off. Exiting a now, at the apparently, on get to the consoles, the cops do. they have a the really dark... <laughs> uh, something to do with the HDR, I believe. I don't know. I don't have the consoles. Um, mm. and when that does sound right, and it does sound like the HDR issue, because when I've been experimenting with HDR um, it's on time to bag the early access, the, the, the tables, I couldn't play them. Yeah. They, were, they were just absolutely... Something on your mind, way. Crowley? Um, so, they, they need to work in the HDR. It's been a... I know that in um, Discord, it's been a long, griped about problem in early access. The HDR mode not actually really working. Um, you don't <clears throat> so, it yeah, would be good. And probably now, for those folks who have been complaining about this bitterly over the course of early access, you'll probably actually get your fix now because they have to do something about it. I don't think there's going to be a lot of console owners where the default, I think, for all PlayStations and stuff is HDR on. Um, the, uh, yeah, the player base won't put up with it. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, such a fun game. Like, good shot making in this game. Like, it's there's lots of really, fl it really flows. There's not a lot of stop start in it. Which I think is the, the great thing about it. Uh, I gotta stop this tentacle. Oh, tentacle's how, gonna get how me. How do you stop? And then if you don't stop it, the flipper goes dead. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't think it's oh, oh, no. <laughs> and, yeah, now I, I can't see. flip. I have, I have this upper flipper and that's it. <laughs> it's All right. Scratch. Uh, anyway. That's cool. It's. I'm telling you, don't sleep on, <clears throat> don't sleep on Moon Knight. Um, all right, so let's get into the tables that I have not looked at one iota. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's start with, yeah, I'll start with Brother in Arms. Yeah, let's do this one. Heroes born. Let's see what their cabinet so, looks like. Very. Eh. Eh, eh. <laughs> I I gotta say, for the Zen originals, Zen doesn't know much about cabinet art. <laughs> not not really. Um, the, the this game when I saw the preview what for is it, it that makes a great I was soldier? going uh, I don't is I, it his brain I have no idea about or the game heart. Like, I'm never I don't play this genre of game at all um, like FPS style like uh, especially war games these don't interest me at all so when I saw the theme of this I thought uh, okay but I gotta say I uh, this is probably one of the better executed Zen originals that I've seen so far. Um, so I'll give you a few pointers if you like, Chris, well, no, rather no, no. than exploring. Let me discover. Let me discover. <laughs> Use the flipper and launch buttons to use skill shot value. Ask the brawler August. Oh, I see what we're doing. Yeah, you're selecting which lane the skill shot. We're going to try and flip into. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, let me just pop, and nope, I missed. I always hate when you first start a table. There we go. Ooh, I got the skill shot. Yep. I was there for a while. Um, I always hate it's that pretty generous. the first time you play, it, it reverts back to just the standard. Yeah, um, it should be global setting. I, I just no, I like that each table has table. its own setting. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, because there are certain tables that I think play better in a, a, a different view. Um, but it's just I would just like them to start. I'd like to say globally, I'd like you to, for the first run of the table, I would like you to start on view two. Then, if I customize the view in that table, do that. Okay. So that that would be a nice. Let's fall in for a set, thing. guys. So you don't have to do it. I mean, imagine somebody playing, like going, "Ah, oh, I'm brand new to this," um, and having to do that for 80 tables every time they play for the first time. Like, 
it's such an easy thing to f say, look, what view do you like to play in? Set that as your default and then override per game, you know? <coughs> So I'm not allowed to tell you anything about the game. No, so because that's the whole point of this. I want to try and figure out what is it a is it an easily understandable understandable game? Well, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Is it easy to learn, hard to master, or is it just hard to learn, hard to master? <laughs> you know. Um, I'm looking at this lock up there. Oh, hey, no. wow, that was a. That's definitely down. That's another feature I like about the game. See how it like just stopped the ball for you? Yeah. It was just like, no, nope, we're just gonna hold this for you so you can like actually get the shot. It's my it's, job. The subtleties in this game, all throughout this game, that are like that, that actually cater to the player. And I, I really like the design. I don't know who actually designed this table, but I really like the design ethos in this. Uh, well, uh, this would be Thomas Croft. Oh, I like a Thomas Croft table. That is the reason why it is good. Uh, yeah. Mission. Yeah. It is. Oh, hey, what's going on here? Something that should be on the DMD. Uh, yes. Get ready That's to set up and defend the bridge. We're moving to the other side. No one breaks through. Fire on that position! Assuming it's firing on these. Ah! Stay down for last of your season! <clears throat> Glowy things, yeah. What? What's the rule? When you see it flashing, you shoot it. Yeah, but you never know. It wouldn't be the first time to find something where everything is flashing and nothing happens. Jasper, bring up the bazooka! <laughs> well, you just shot a shot and you managed to extinguish the lights. So I think you're doing it right. This one, I think this table definitely, for me, it definitely um, honours pinball tropes that you know, as instinctively know. It's got a lot of just intuitive gameplay design in it. Take cover! Grenade! Oh. oh, man. It loved that outlay. And it I didn't do it. That was outlane to slingshot to outlane. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to pinball. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna try and actually understand it this time. <laughs> what is it that makes a great soldier? Okay, so first things first. Is it his I'm brain? gonna select that one. Fire. Or his heart. And... Oh, I should have selected that. Okay. That's multipliers. Good. Good to know. Yep. The usual pinball trope. Yep. Multipliers on the rollovers for the win. So Mul that... Multipliers on the loop, then uh, whatever. That's just goes there. I can drop targets. That's fun. Yeah, the thing I like about this is this is a easily replicatable real-world table. Like you could do everything that's on this table, which tends to be what I like about Tom Scroft's <clears throat> tables. His his designs are rooted in reality. Yeah. Um, so you, you can make this if Over you really there. wanted to. You could recreate this table in real life, and it would work. There's nothing unusual in it that requires um, any sort of digital. Verdammt, Namis! Gebt endlich auf! And I, I think as well, like the like if you look at if you separate the core ah, gameplay, visual extras as well, like they're they're actually really well integrated into the overall thing. Like they don't like they're not Doctor Strange flying all over the place, right? You know, all that sort of outlandish interaction. Like they're all they're playing to the static points, like these, you know. Is old mate. Yeah, that fight, you know, the 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 units of guns. What am I not seeing this glowing? Uh, ah! Steht auf und lasst euch erschießen! 
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to hit now. Oh wait, if I could read the DMD. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's why I'm looking at the DMD. I can't read the DMD because it's a blurry mess of me. Alright, hold on. Um, me, uh, defeat the troops in the Flak 88 cannon, 3 of 12. What am I supposed to be hitting then? Uh, I think you've got to shoot the ramps. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's not just spell aroma up there? I, mm, I don't think yeah, so. When you're in a mode, I don't think you get yeah, it. So try shooting your ramps. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Oh. Or, or, or alternatively, try draining. Or try draining um, and then don't figure out it out. At all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. That one. Try the five million shot. Chris. What's the five million? Try the five million shot. <laughs> try it and see. Well, you've got to. So, what you have to do is you have to shoot it, immediately flip. Uh, so, it goes up to the uh, little trap that the upper air the upper left flipper and then shoot the side ramp it's super easy and achievable <laughs> but you get five million for it is it worth the headache no exactly but i just want to see you try do it because <laughs> it's really difficult but it's like it, I, I will say this i started out going yeah i'm going to do the five million shot and i kept trying to do the five million shot because i thought oh i nearly got it and this is the thing I love about this table. It is that, oh, just one more. I oh, would have got it uh, if, if I just had that one more shot. Mm. Like, it really does, for me, it really, like, pulls on all those sort of emotional strings that the top more designers used Fall in for a sec, back guys. in the day. Um, to, to get your money, basically. This is a, a really... I think Thomas is really taking a good look at how... The, the, I guess the kinetics of the machine plays and uh, just the, the way that shots flow to each other it's a really really good table this I, I like it I've, I've, even though the theme doesn't resonate with me I don't actually mind that much because it's just a fun table to flip alright so this upper where all the drop targets are that's the that's the uh, mission hole mission hole okay yeah Cover now! Nighttime. Wait for the air yep. raid to finish. Okay, I'm waiting for the air raid. I like the fact that during this, Move your, vi your town, controller vibrates get as well. To safety. All right. Yeah, you got 25 seconds. So again, shoot the clearly defined lanes to do, do what you need to do. Nicely done. failed. I didn't do it fast enough. Yeah. Great. Ooh, and man. now talk you know, about a rumble motor. Yeah, yeah, it really it really <laughs> goes off, doesn't it? It's like, okay, yeah, I, we're definitely getting bombed here. Um, I was thinking the, that it thing was like 25 seconds per shot. No, that would be nice. No, the counter is complete everything. It's like it's pretty you got to really be accurate when you're shooting in this game. Because the, the timers aren't long timers at all. Thomas hasn't allowed a lot of time for the, uh, the for you to complete the modes. And unlike actual like other pinball or games, you don't get a little extra time when you shoot the shot. You don't get like five minutes added or five seconds added to sort of you know counteract the time the ball takes to get back down to the bottom of the playfield. Okay, what am I doing now? Avoid the German patrol. Shoot only lit lanes. Okay. So that left lane is yep. your shot. Ooh, just the tip. Good shot. Now it's going to be the right orbit. At least it actually gives you, like, shots in the order in which the ball returns back to the oh, like, I field. hate it or when that... to the flippers. Oh. When it doesn't do that? Yeah. Oh, good well, save. Like this here. But we're not timed, so yeah, it's that's... fine. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, you don't mind if it's if it you know you can actually just and the thing is that like this game you really do need ah. to flip the skills. Uh oh. I have a feeling you're getting a bit of lag there. No, because... that wasn't lag. That was me thinking it was gonna dead bounce and oh, there wasn't right. enough bounce to do it. No, I'm not having lag. Right. Okay. So sometimes it's hard for you to tell sometimes. Yeah. Things. 
I'm getting, I'm getting because of the fact it's coming down the internet over to Australia. It's like it's like <laughs> quite lossy. I can't really see a lot that's right. going on. Um, um, all right, well that's kind of fun. Let's. Uh, let's it's check out, a fun game. Check out this other table, Borderlands table. Borderlands again. These these are not franchises Oops. franchises I have any idea about. So, I have there are uh, attempted Raiders Borderlands one. Uh, for all of maybe a half an hour to an hour of gameplay before I was like, mm. wait a second, I don't like first-person shooters. <laughs> um, mm. Now, I'm going to say, cabinet art on this one, I like. It's great. This yeah, is good it, it cabinet art. It looks really good. Yeah. Different graphics yeah, that, on each side. great cabinet art. Front nice cabinet art looks bold. good. Yeah. Yep. No, that's all. Yeah, that's a really nice design, that one. That's yeah, solid. I'd have that on my cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, but the uh, the other one not so much. Just let it do its little thing here, so I can get yeah. an idea. Oh well, okay, they're kind of you know, yeah, they're popsicle sticks. <laughs> yep, they are. Hey, interesting. On the bottom right hand corner of your screen, are you seeing the buttons that you're supposed to be pressing? I do see it says play. Or the controls view table guide. Just black squares for you, because all I see is black squares. Oh, you, yeah, there's, it only says it has black squares. Yeah. So, th there's no buttons that you're supposed to be pushing there? I don't know. Because <laughs> normally on the Xbox, when you've got the Xbox control, it tells you what buttons you need to press. Uh, like X or whatever. Or mine's whatever. definitely so not it's saying like, that. But that could be also because I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller. Yes. Uh, on my oh, PC. Recruit? So. Did you abandon yeah. the Crips and Raiders? No, shut up. Let me pick my character. All right, here we go. Let's see. This one? Are you sure? Does that look right? I guess. Amara. This one? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be interesting to see how you find this skill shot because I can't understand what I need to do. How's it going? If I were you, and I'm super glad I'm not. Okay, you got it. So, to disconnect for me with that skill shot, it's not. It's you select the character you need to shoot. Oh. Based on, based on the. Um, the, the the lights on the shooter lane, and then when you're on the play field, you have to find the lane that matches that character that you select in the shooter lane, and then shoot that shot, which is what you did. Well, then I just plain got lucky. You you absolutely plain got lucky, and now I know how to actually get the skill shot because I've been <laughs> trying to work it out for bloody ages. I'm going, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Probably if I read the instructions, but ain't no big. Yeah, we don't do that around here. No. Nice shot. This is our turn. You got it into there, and Ooh. there's a yeah, there's a. That's a weird spot for a. Well, uh, you might be interested to have a look at the creative. And this away game. we go. All right, uh, and then it might. Let's explain. see. Does that mean it's Zoltan? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Fly forth, my winged rage. That's the reason. This is how I know. Which means there's very Beat few Zoltan tables that I like. Edge! Mm. This one's. But. It... Perfect! And away we'll we go! Hey, I beat your. Yeah. Uh, Jared? Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> that, that's because I suck so much at this game. I have trouble getting any decent high score on it whatsoever. This and, is where we hold up! The, well done, recruit! I've got to I say, the, you're gonna do good the work for me. popsicle stick characters drive me find nuts a shield in this yet? game. The fact that they to close reset up hard again case. after you do it, because the thing is that the, the game, I mean, if you awaken in a blasted wasteland in surrounded by case, hey, has, that could be a clue. like, taking the, the bouncy rubbers well and truly on board, but in Danger this case, the closure got me so fast on those um, yep. popsicle, popsicle sticks. Like the the time it takes to bring the ball back down the playfield again, the character resets, and so to get control and get a um a shot on the character again, like you watch, it'll pop up by the time you get back down again, right? I don't and know. I knocked down just... that middle one, and he hasn't popped up yet again. Oh yeah, once you knock them down all the way, they stay down. But and while you're working on getting him down, like. It's. I just find it a little frustrating. I get. You know, it's a big middle shot in the middle of the playfield, right? It's 
the thing you're going to be smashing all the time. So it needs to be a little bit difficult. The great oh, I don't know. I think the timing for me just feels it's less challenging and more frustrating. Hang me to sleep, desert winds. Uh, and also, probably a lot of the problem is Wait. I don't have a lot of. What's going on here? Oh, it's, oh, it's just a ball lock. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. I don't know. But everything went dark. <laughs> yep. Can't get enough of old claptrap, huh? Yeah, I get it. Well, if I did that, uh, I'd so leap the, across that did chasm. You, uh, that's certainly the highest score I've seen on the game. I don't think I've got anywhere near that. I'm and just you're flipping. just been flipping around. No you're just flipping it. around. No. No, oh, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you Which just flipping... us up? I'm gonna say, if if you're gonna make a game that you just flip around and things hey, are happening, I got an idea. That's... Do the thing Oops. I told you to do. That's a positive. Hell and hard times, yeah. have we? Because um, I like it when things happen because that makes me curious and makes me want to try and play Period more. Period help desk recommends mm. um, shoot more and miss less. Now, where's your skill shot here? I don't know. I haven't paid it. Yeah, exactly. Skill shot. Yep. No idea where the skill shot is. Oh. Uh, like, it should I'm be. Serious. If you have a look at the inserts hey, below the ramp and loot shots, I have a feeling those are the heads, and that's what you would need to shoot based on what you select in the shooter lane. But I didn't see anything light up for you. Welcome then, back. We you missed punch. you. So. Who took your nose? Not, Me! Not sure. In a minute! <coughs> Looks like, ooh, ooh, wow, how'd you right. pull that off? <laughs> oh. oh, hey. Oh, ball save. Thank you, save. Magnet control. Nice. Let's get this long. Yeah, Angry balls! Let them jump up and down your ball. Hey, <laughs> well, sorry. he said they were angry balls. So, yeah, I mm. see these heads lighting up. Yeah. So you oh. gotta select a character. Hey, that can be a clue. Oh, is it that you have to plunge the ball while the, Heal your the, wounds, the head is lit up and light up with like a cardboard cutout that it. sticks out Best from the wall? And then that qualifies the rank because it's lit up now. What? Like you can see the, You're gonna rot, that the head's lit deep. up on the playfield. That's how it's done, yeah. baby yeah. sister. Okay. So this being said, I don't think I started a single mode. No. But where, where are the modes? I, That's why I want to know. Customers I, I, I will have to construct the, consult the manual to work that out. Um, Let's see here. Hold on. So those are your loot boxes. <coughs> that says level up. Catch a ride. Super jackpot. That's our ball lock. Bonus hold. Skag. Light magma say Yeah, I have no clue. I don't know what this cross shot is supposed to be to either. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's a high shot. I think shot. you're shooting you're shooting the target underneath that dog. There's actually a target underneath there and it lights up. Alright, extra balls apparently underneath there too. Which yeah, so is, good luck with that. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, I don't know where the, the mode start is on this. Like maybe it's hey, one of the crates. Shit! All like your you've dumb got three. Don't tell me you got to. Just like, oh, I was gonna say, you don't have to like get all the crates to start. I don't mode, know. That's what I'm that, wondering. That would be a Zoltan trope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the hardest mode start ever. Wait, wait, what happened? You select a weapon. I want that three, weapon. Two. Oh, you, did you shoot the green crate? Is that what you shot? I shot something. Ooh. No, where did, not where did me. Launch? Look at the road. Oh, it's, oh, it's a jump ramp. Right. Oh, okay. It's popped up. Okay. What am I? This could save your life. Then you will be a oh. life dead. Is that it? I have no idea. Okay, so you... wildlife here is fantastic. I mean, everything still wants to murder uh, and devour you, uh, okay. but so pretty. Uh, all right, so. Can't get a claim here. This is like Can't the get ball, enough so... old claptrap. Huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, I get it. Like the uh, yeah, the, the kickback. So way, it's, um, if you ever played Godzilla, um, the new Stern one, they got this, this oxygen mode. Ooh, thank you. Um, they got this oxygen mode that you the get on the like, a little bit like a million dollar shot on um, no! fast break. Uh, we gotta like shoot the center shot to keep your ball in play. Well, that's what they've done here with it. That's that's a acceptable score there. Nicely done <laughs> for a first time. Yeah, good luck trying to get it again. All right, we're going to try this one more time here. I, really I would think... Have a look at the, the guide for this one. If you know what button to press. I do know what button to press. Table guide. Uh, da, 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 da. Shoot bandit target in the center of the table and it will drop partially. Then a head hit will register as a critical hit and the target will drop down immediately. Otherwise, it can scan back up a couple of times. Open the chest behind the bandits and take the loot from them through the emerging jump ramp. But beware the ramp is active only temporarily and a new wave of bandits will soon be back. Okay. Defeat the psycho. Shoot the left and right ramp ultimately to make combo ramps, which will irritate the psycho. When he attacks, continue the combo for more score. Hit the psycho himself to light lock. Got it. That's how you get lock. Yeah, okay. and then this is, and then you lock the balls by going that way. Got it. Boss fight multi ball. The main goal of the multi ball mode is to defeat a boss by hitting at least one super jackpot. During multi ball, you can collect the normal jackpots from the loot chest, which will activate the super jackpot at the upper left playfield for a limited time. You can collect it with a strong shot through the jump ramp or by a shot with the upper right flipper. Okay. Revive Alley. If multiple ends without a super jackpot, then there's still a chance to be revived by an ally and to continue the mode. This is a short minigame. Hit a bandit target to magnetize the remaining ball to the center and try to hit it with a newly plunged ball before the numb ball leaves the play field through the sinkhole. Second wind. Uh, this is what I love. We're this many things in, we still haven't talked about uh, mode. Um, yeah, a similar nice. fail-safe feature is available during mono ball play as well. You can activate the second wind feature by lighting up all lamps in the in and out lanes of the table. If second wind is lit and the ball is lost, you will have at least a last chance to take down one enemy in order to get back into play. However, you will have to do it fast or the flippers will be disabled and the ball will be lost. Okay, sounds fine. Mono ball? Mono ball. The wizard That's mode. A new <laughs> Don't tell me about the wizard mode until you've told me about a regular mode. When all the other yeah, bosses are... <laughs> When all the other bosses are defeated, all the balls must be locked to start the final multiball. The wizard jackpot will be available constantly on the upper playfield, and one loot chest will always be lit for a normal jackpot. The Outrunner. Spin the platform with the Outrunner. Oh, that's the um, the vehicle? The truck thing. Uh, yeah. To increase catcher ride multiplier and hit the ramp around the catcher ride station for bumper hits. Both of these shots are available with the upper right flipper. Great. During multiple spinning the outrunner and super jackpot. Does this upper playfield remind you of uh, Black Knight? Yeah, it uh -huh. certainly does. Black Knight 2000. No, it it's reminds me of regular exactly. Black Knight. Well, bl regular Black Knight had two flippers. So this is Black Knight 2000 for sure. I'm just um, saying with even, the two exit holes on the top. E yeah, sure, two exit holes, but like the the geometry of this is, is all Black Knight mm. 2000. All right, catch right. After a couple of bumper hits, the catch right hurry up begins. During this hurry up, you can collect the previously multiplied millions by shooting the lit spots with the turret of the vehicle. And note, you can change the lit lanes with double flips. What, what do you mean by uh, double flips? Like, like... Two flippers yeah. at the same time? Yeah, I think that's double flips. Yeah. Zen, this is why you need second flipper buttons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, now Actually, let's talk about the skill shot. <laughs> uh, what? That, that's, that's, it's all in the wrong order. Select a character with left or right flips. When the ball is in the manual plunger, then watch the chaser lights of the figures and shoot the ball over the chosen character's lamp when it is lit. By making a skill shot, the character's playfield lamp will be lit in one of the main lanes and hitting it immediately will score a super skill shot. Hitting it later in the game will increase the character. Okay, so it's you got to do the it's a an, an auto switch. Oh right, okay. And you got a basic, so you select your character on the on the, uh, and then you do a soft left. plunge, and you, oh, so it's is it a soft plunge or just plunge yeah, think, over think, the character? Think when Twilight it's Zone. Really? Yeah, that's what I think. Uh, we'll try okay. it. Okay. Um, Prove your grounds. Whenever a four-way combo shot, oh, great four-way combo. <laughs> sure, you got it. Uh, <laughs> has been made, it will light up the exclamation mark at the Skag sinkhole where different trial modes become selectable. This, these side missions are running in the background. Only note will come when they have been completed. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Legendary weapons. Keep on looting as many as you can. Eventually you will get a legendary sniper rifle that has limited ammo, but every shot at the enemy will be critical hit. You can ch make a chain kill with such weapon, which will start sniper spree. Sniper spree. During this mode, at least one available target will be on the table constantly, and the goal is to shoot as many enemies as possible in a short time period. Okay. So there's no mode hole. Right. Th there's no modes. Well, these are but modes, but it's not... It's so you, you it's from doing combos or things. Yeah. Uh, by using upper left flipper, shoot the ball to Skag. On the other side, the ball will be fed to this <coughs> flipper from the chasm around the loot chests. After a couple of Skag hits, the multiplier at the end of the ball bonuses will be held. The number of Skag hits will be a huge end of ball bonus as well. You can increase bonus multipliers by hitting the targets in front of the bumpers on the upper playfield during mono ball. Be increased by more than one of a couple of skag hits if hold bonus is already lit. There's a spinning target on the left loop of the table, and every revolution this target will increase the XP progress bar. When the bar is full, you will level up. The scoring of the gunfights can be increased leveling up. Mag and save. Mag and save can be back by hitting the leftmost stand up targets, but remains active only for a limited time. Mm -hmm. Quick lock, right. free lock. So, the regular method, there are two alternative ways to lock the ball. Spray dust and then extra ball. So. I'm just going to say it. This is not my favorite kind of table. Mm -mm -mm. Nah. No clear way to start modes. Like, just give me a hole I go to shoot so I can start the mode, this read one? the instructions, do Are what the you game sure? is do. I like the... Kind of like the idea Clap of the, of the like, background mode super that you activate and then you just shoot around and do. But um, honestly... Unless you get really I good say. at this table, you're not going to be able to Leap across that chasm. Um, so... This way, recruit! Yeah. Not, not a... Not a really good shot, by the way. Wild it's not an easy shot to get. I mean, but, um, everything yeah, still wants to no, and Zoltan the likes you, these so really many. difficult side shots. Yeah. Jump, recruit! See how fast you've got to be to get the... Oh, there, great. You've got that nail. Tell me a secret. Because so <laughs> I can't do it. Again, it's... it's not, yeah, you're right. Sultan does it. like you shooting all over the place. Like, to get... To achieve a certain goal, as the instructions say. Like, those instructions, number one, they need to adjust the... The... Order not today. Like from, Think about oh, yeah. what happens when you first start the game. That's yeah. the first like, start with the skill thing shot. you should be. Yeah, yeah. the skill shot goes first, not halfway through Hyperion the instructions. Hyperion proudly guys. supports all Vault Hunters until they've outlived it's just, their it's, usefulness. No. It's like putting chapter 13. Okay, chapter so no, one. it's not an opt to switch. No, you got to plunge when it's lined up. Yeah, like, which it? means... I don't think and I we're back! No. But... Work, Again, work. like really complex chasm. skill shot. You've got to not only you got to select your character, this you've got way, to plunge recruit. so that the ball travels over the light, um, and then you've got to make yet? the shot on the playfield. Like that's a really hard skill shot. This way, and I recruit. get that skill shots these days are actually more simplistic than they were difficult like they were sort of in the you know, past. No, but skill shots were... should never be this complex routine of things to do. You should you shouldn't have to work, you shouldn't have to read the instructions. No. To work out what they are. They really should. Like I was expecting that oh, okay, sure, this is a um, I've seen that type of oscillating or that, you know, um, strobing skill shot in things like Gottlieb's Gladiator, where you plunge the ball Continue. When you want to select the thing oh, and hit the switch belly. and that selects the, um, the award that you get. You know, that's a really, it's a really well understood pinball trope and how that particular sort of skill shot system works. But this one, this no, way, recruit. not at all intuitive. Um, but I also really do not like what I call non-mode tables. Up. Yeah. Hey, um, because that's essentially, to me, it's the same as Stellar Armor. Well, yeah. But, but unfortunately, this is even more complicated because it's not this telling way, you recruit. how to get... Like, Stellar Armor, you at least know, oh, if I hit this seven this times, way, I'm going to start something. Yeah. Nothing about this is telling me 
how a particular mode is going to start. No, no, no. Across that I'm chasm. just shooting things. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. What a good beast! And you good beast get punished too. Which is why I never, I, I could never get a good score. This way, why you my score very easily because it's like I, I don't intuitively know what to shoot, and it it's, doesn't feel like compared Jump, like you compare this to um, the uh, the other table, the other gearbox table. Um, Brothers in arms. Yeah. And I'm the, mad the way that table you feels is completely face. different to this. Yeah. Like the, the Brothers in Arms table feels instantly understandable. Um, Holding my ground. We did not need to read the instructions to actually understand how to play the game. Like we, we didn't need to read the instructions to understand how to get the skill shot because it explained it on the DMD for us. Yeah. Which it does not do on this game. Like, it is not say, basically, for any loss of appetite, there should be an abridged time, version of everything loss, loss of life, in or loss of the instruction manual from the resurrection on process. the DMD. Like, they've got a full color DMD now. Why, why not explain everything very clearly on the DMD? Or on the video screen? Don't you touch me! Don't sort of like, me. In this case, Zoltan has gone with an old, the, the old way of designing tables, but with a new, um, with the, the new sort of table format with the DMD, or with the video screen and everything, and hasn't really utilized it as well as it could have been utilized. Just remember, Zoltan, to think what is other... re Zoltan is responsible for, if I'm not mistaken, um, Masters of the Force. Yes. He's also responsible for Star yet? Wars collectibles. Mm hmm. Um, How's it going? If I were you and I'm super glad I mean, I'm that, not, I seems to see that. that over like, there. when you shoot the, the disc and you have to take a shot off that thing well, at the top, crap out, notice I'm the difference, back. right? So, in Brothers in Arms, when you have to take That's a shot off a flipper that is a running shot, it stopped the ball for you. So, you actually have another chance. You makes my toes itch. But with this table, it's like, nah, it rockets out of that loop thing up the top there and good luck trying to hit the the rather important shot up the top there like we have read for the instructions there, that side no, you know you got to shoot that shot and get arguably pretty good points from the uh from the features in the upper play field and the thing is with an upper play field this you want to be able to get up Are there you sure? and actually interact with the stuff up there a bit like it's the draw card you want to go up there does that look right i don't understand Hit the light this of the one? chosen one. Are you sure? So you've chosen the first one. Well, see, that doesn't do anything. Full plunger. See, so it's not. Did you fall asleep standing the... up? No, no, it's a full plunger. Hey, that could be a clue. So, wait, I got it. What? What'd you do? I, it says I got the skill shot. So I'm no, telling you, no, I think it's no, an auto. No, no! So you plunged it while the light was leaking down. Is that is that all? That? I tried to time it so that it landed or the, the ball stopped rolling when it hit the face. Like the, the, oh, the really? face lit up. This way, recruit. Okay. Ooh, what an angry uh, little yeah. doggy! Also, this this gay, this game. This way, is recruit. The, the thing. Time to close up this hard case. No! Recruit! Yeah, already bored. Yeah, that's uh, it's disappointing. Mhm. Mm it just it doesn't. It's it's not uh, making me interested in playing more. No. Um. And I have a feeling this is going to end up in the tournament tournaments or the events uh, a lot for some reason it seems that all the uh, you you get the way they do the events is there's a couple of williams a couple of zen like uh, an older zen original and a newer zen original i've got a feeling they're going to be pushing this more and i there's some tables like i was a bit like that about noir when it cycles in mm. but i've got an understanding with that table now where I can, you know, do what I need to do with it to make it function in the events. Sure. Um, but it's still something I don't, I don't go back to the table. 
after I've played it. It's not my favorite table at all. Yeah. Um, I did manage to get this like secret skill shot the other day on it, which was a complete and utter fluke. Where you know where you got to shoot the the revolver and get into the hole. Which good luck with that. I, I have very limited success doing it. Um, well, I managed to get it so the ball, like I had the the revolver spin in a certain way that it created a pathway to the sources behind the um, um, the revolver, and that's a secret skill shot. So. If you if you manage to somehow align the the revolver in such a way that the ball can travel behind there, and you then manage to get the the ball in there, it's a secret skill shot. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, I don't expect every table design to appeal to me, and I'm sure that there are tables that I love that other people uh, don't like yeah um, um so i mean I'm, I'm glad that there is a variety of things um i just know what i like <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, there, I'm sure there are some people out there that really dig zoltan's designs because they like to hunt around the play field and they like to explore yeah and do that i'm just very linear when i play gable i i expect the tables to mimic real world tables and the tropes that exist in those real world tables because that's that's pinball to me yeah um uh by all means you know, go you know crazy with the like, cool Jared. features and get stuff. off my Old lawn people <laughs> that's what we sound like i know but i mean the thing is that even with the like if you look at stern like the latest stern tables that have come out like godzilla um uh in particular uh like that table's got some like it, it breaks a lot of design tropes that zen uh not zen that stern had for years like oh always give me three pop bumpers like that was the gary stern stamp like it must have three pop bumpers or it's not a stern but this one only has one and it's in a really weird place and then you've got other things like uh like mode start holes and stuff that you know they're mode start holes and they're clearly defined, but they're not in the usual sort of position you'd find them. So the the tropes are still there, though. They're just used in new and inventive ways. But the something like the the Borderlands table, I've got nothing to anchor to. Like I've got nothing. It just that it helps just me understand feels how the like game works intuitively. It, it's all designed around. Let's call it a bash toy, the right there, right there in the middle. Bash, bash, mm. bash. But unfortunately, that's not really. Um, what you need to be doing? No, and and you, that's... you need to be combos like th to to create a rule around you. You need to qualify a mode based on a four way combo. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Because no. that's because how are you supposed to know what the combo is? You know. Yeah. Y it, it's it is that hidden rule sheet basically. Um, yeah, and that's. I don't know. That's just kind of brutal. Um, it really is. I, I'm not a fan at all. There's I things that I, I mean, there's things about that table that I do like. Um, just like aesthetically, it looks fairly nice. But then again, I mean, mm. I kind of knew where I was going to sit because you know how I am about upper play fields. Um, yeah, you don't like them. No, and not much. Not when they're that large. I don't mind a small upper play field. It's when it dominates, you know, a third of the play field that I'm not. Mm. So no, folks. I never was a fan of Black Knight or Black Knight Two Thousand. Um, yeah, it, it's yeah, that's disappointing. But uh, at least Brothers in Arm, Brothers in Arms, that uh, was looking like a lot of fun. I'll go back to that for sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I expect to play a lot of that. Um, it seems to have quite long legs. I think. Um, yeah, the one thing we didn't have a look at is Garfield. No, so. I mean, look, this is already running long. Um, mm. We're going to... We haven't looked at Garfield yet. We haven't looked at Snoopy yet. So we'll be taking looks at those. Um, obviously, I want to do a comparison of uh, new TAF versus old TAF. Because um, I know so That's going to be the next show. Yeah, I know probably. there's plenty of you that have never seen the uh, Pinball Arcades version. Um, mm. So I, I would love to do that. Um, I think, I mean, you know, fortunately... When something like this drops with this many tables uh, at launch um, to explore, 
hey, that gives us good content. <laughs> That's right. We got some things to show. Yeah. Um, so tell you what, folks. Uh, you let us know if you want to see uh, Garfield and Snoopy before Taff, which I don't you will but you know um <laughs> let us know um yeah that's right if you want to do some uh, a b comparisons between the uh, marble tables shoot i could show you what they used to look like in fx2 um really see how far they've come oh, wow yeah yeah right uh um, jeez you know so uh just sh- drop us a message uh on the old twitter or right here in the uh, youtube uh we take a look at all that and uh or we'll, on we'll our discord it. Or the Discord. Yes. Um, all right. Beyond that, I think that's all we have for you uh, this week. Jared, tell them what's in store next time. Mm, stuff and things. Till then, folks. Bye-bye. See you later.